dogs, burgers, fried chicken, you may not immediately associate the above with Hong Kong. But thanks to the city's history as an international melting pot, this kind of originally western street snack has long since cemented its place on the Hong Kong street food scene. Of course, you can find these feel-good treats in most cities these days, but here, through excessive amounts of butter and decadently doughy bread, they've evolved into something unique that caters to the insatiable local appetite. While many fast food spots exist around town, there's one place in particular that carries the torch for this kind of old-timey fare, and that is the Danish Bakery, a curious-looking nook along a Causeway Bay thoroughfare that has been keeping the neighborhood gleeful since 1971. Many of the locals swear by this place, so in this episode, we're gonna see if the food lives up to the reputation. This is Sam Eats It. Hey guys, thank you for joining me for another episode of Sam Eats It, the series in which we gorge our way around Hong Kong, serving you up the best grassroots and lesser known foodie gems in the city. Today we're in Causeway Bay at the Danish Bakery, and this place has been a local institution of sorts since opening in the early 1970s, getting a loyal following for serving up old school Hong Kong fast food that is either fried or made with the bread that they bake freshly here every morning. If I could only have one food to eat every day for the rest of my life, it would undoubtedly be bread. So my mouth is watering at the prospect of trying some of the specialties in here. You can really smell this place before you can see it, even from a couple of blocks away, with the absolutely delectable aroma wafting through the streets around here. So without further ado, let's go and try some of the stuff that's on offer here. So we've got our bag of goodies. We've got our hot dog, our pork chop bun, and our fried chicken. Let's go for the hot dog first. Let's see it. So to be quite honest, it doesn't look like a whole lot, but let's try it. The bread looks good. It smells really good too. Mm. Mm. That's really nice. The wiener is decent and that bread, oh my God, it's out of this world. And uh, it's just like, got so much butter on it. Very decadent, lovely. Now let's try the pork chop bun. This is probably the most famous item of them all that these guys sell. So upon first look, the pork chop looks nice and thin. Uh, but not overly thin, you know, you still get a decent portion, but it doesn't look too thick and challenging essentially. And it sits on the bread nicely, it's lovely and warm because they cook everything fresh here, so it's as fresh as can be. And you also, of course, get it in this brown paper bag. And if that isn't old school, I don't know what is. Let's try this. Mm. 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 Again, bread, lovely and buttery. The pork itself, nice, fried, flavoursome, just complements everything nice with a nice bit of tomato ketchup, lovely. Mm. And butter, of course. Oh, that's not bad. Not bad at all. It's kind of addictive, to be honest. I just want to keep munching on these things. Ah. So now we'll move on to the grand finale, the chicken. This is also another very popular item from these guys. And again, that paper bag, there's something, just something generally super old school about this place. I can bet that the decor is exactly the same. I bet it hasn't been renovated at all since uh, it opened back in the 70s. Okay, let's try this bad boy. Oh my God, look at that. Jeez. 
Wish me luck. <laughs> oh. Oh. Mm. So, it's not a baked good, but it is still good quality. That's really good, the chicken. I mean, you get more than enough of that. That's a big portion. And um, yeah, very filling. It's greasy as anything, but what are you gonna do? That's fried chicken for you. And it's full of flavor. They kind of sprinkled this five spice salt on it and it just kind of amplifies the flavor a little bit. That's very nice. Oh. Hmm. So, that's it from the uh, Danish bakery. If you're looking for healthy bites on the go, this ain't the place for you. But if you're looking for delicious bites on the go, that have a real old school vibe to them, this is definitely the place. This stuff is genuinely absolutely delicious. And it kind of does take you back to your school days, like when you'd get this kind of fast food on your lunch break or on the way home. Definitely a great place to come. I'm gonna finish this and the rest of these treats and then I'm gonna meander home and prepare for the uh, workout that I'll uh, be doing tomorrow to uh, get the calories off. Thanks again for watching, and see you next time on Sam Eats It. We hope you enjoyed exploring the Danish bakery with us, and we urge you to try this renowned local gem if you haven't done already. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share this video with all your foodie friends. Until the next feast, take care and stay hungry.